Hello and welcome to another episode of Honest Trailer Commentaries, a bonus episode bonus. Today we're talking about the Oscars 2020, our annual hoo-ha of who's who yeah. <laughs> and what was nominated for Best Picture this year. We got them all, nine bonus trailers for you in one small video. Yes. Dan, Danielle. Oh, yeah, it, it is the jade egg of our Yes. <laughs> it's deep up there. We're going to yank it out with you uh, as a group today. Hopefully no infections. We're gonna respond to- We're very punchy. We're only gonna respond to one stupid viewer comment. <laughs> um, and we are uh, gonna show you some deleted scenes and tease next week's Honest Trailer. Mm. I guess, what else is there to talk about but the Oscars? These are the movies. <laughs> <laughs> These are the movies. This is them. Uh, we uh, we did an extra trailer. Yes. We're all tired now. We uh, were, come on, suck it up. We were sort of. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> no, this is what this is one of our favorite trailers to do no, every it is. year. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, certainly, uh, well, one of my favorites. Certainly, I love the, being able to do these quick punch things on movies we'd never do, and we were in a position where we had to choose between not doing it or having to. Do the extra workload of putting on an extra one. We decided to do the extra one because it's just yeah, we it's like fun. we like doing it's this. It's so yeah. much fun, and I'm really excited to do like we're we're having a whole Oscar thing. Again, no one seems to be with me with dressing up. I'm a dress up mm. yeah. for Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you'll stand. You'll shine all the more brightly compared to us, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having hair and makeup come in. <laughs> I'm at least bringing blot strips. We're doing this. All right. Well. All right. It'll be a glamorous night. That's a, what she's referring to. We'll be doing a live movie fight immediately. Well, immediately. Screen junkies immediately. <laughs> Sooner right or later. Right after the Oscars. Within Give us one 10, to 15, three hours. 20. Uh, yeah, we're after the telecast is over and they've announced uh, uh, Moonlight as a surprise right yes. in the <laughs> winner, we will be going live with a movie fight. Contestants TPD. Now, I'm told that we, uh, are the on Honest Trailer specifically, have been somewhat of an Oscar curse. Oh, that's I've seen oh. it pointed out a few times that any movie that we've done a full Honest Trailer for prior to the Oscars oh. that's nominated for Best Picture has never won. Yeah, we screwed La La Land, we screwed mm. Revenant, um, uh, Black Panther, Black Panther, but those were all we the, the Revenant and, and La La Land we did after, but oh. uh, Black Panther we did before. Um, uh, there's been a few examples of it. We did a trailer and they were up. For well, sorry, we Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. <laughs> like Joker would be the one if the hearse is going uh, to maintain. Then that means Joker would would be counted out of the best picture. I hope Joker wins. I love Joker stuff. Uh, I love a lot of the movies this year. I think that it's a good crop. I mean. I like every single one of them that I saw. I think there are others that I liked more this year, um, but I'm, I don't know, there's no, there's not a crash among these There's no groaners here yeah. I'm like, Ugh, no. really? No, I like all these. There's no green, or, uh, green, books green book for me. Yeah, yeah. and like, green, green book, room, green room is good. Um, I did not like it, but I can, I look at that and I go, okay, I can see why it was nominated. There's nothing that's baffling. You know why the Academy picked Green Book. I know. <laughs> I can still make that face. Yes. Dan, we'll make that face together. I liked Green Book. Oh, I, uh, it's, uh, we'll talk later. Yeah. It's fine. You can have your... I get I, it's, I know. Here's the thing. It's not a bad movie. It's just not an Oscar winner. Yeah. It's a, we, let's not get too sidetracked. Yeah. Should we just watch the trailer? Let's just watch the trailer. Because we have nine movies to talk We're about. We'll talk about them one at a time. Let's do it. Honest Trailer 2020 Oscars. Proceed. Engage. Engage. Number one. <laughs> Make it so. I'm gonna name every dog number one from now on. It's time once again for the Oscars. We're not worthy! The award show that everyone says is irrelevant until the nominations come out and everyone gets pissed off all over again. Can I have it both ways. Every day I wake up and I hope you're dead! <laughs> now, here are this year's nominees for Best Picture. Half of which the Academy may have even seen before they voted. Uh, it's a pause. Uh, that uh, that was the last uh, edit made. Was the that clip of every day I wake up when I wish you were dead. Oh, uh, we. Yeah. And then the last note was it you? Yeah. It was just like, can we? Can you make Scarlett Johansson into the Oscar statue? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turn Scarlett Johansson into a giant Oscar. I love the notes that we give. If yes. there were, if someone were to uh, uh, hack our emails, if someone were to, to to dox our accounts, you would see some of the dumbest things. Yes. Sent back and oh, forth. I, I did. I saw. I sent some of the dumbest things <laughs> uh, today. The, the the things that that go in and out because the the response I remember reading it was one of my favorite. 
favorite email responses ever. Let me pull it up from last night. It was, um, let's see, here's our thread. Kevin, first of all, is a rock star. Yes, our super uh, And also, the, yeah, they work on it well into the night. He mm. sent us just a clip, and the, and the email just says, attached is the Oscar trophy edited into Marriage Story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you okay. go. Yeah. yeah. A lot of, like, more farts. You know, that's a less note I've farts, given before. Fewer less farts, fewer yeah. farts. Leave a beat after the fart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, we, we make some good... Uh, yeah. Uh, extend the foot song. Yeah, a lot more feet. <laughs> Is it possible to put this foot after this foot? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Can we swap this foot out for another foot? Can we I put this foot, foot in this part? Yeah. Can we put this foot in front of that foot? Because yeah. I feel like it undercuts it if we put that foot in the other foot. Yeah. It's we have fun. It's a fun process. Uh, let's keep going. Based on a real life race war. Wait, that didn't come out right. Comes the movie you'll be watching every Father's Day from now until they remake True Grit again. Featuring Matt Damon as racing pioneer Carol Shelby and Christian Bale as himself. It's candid footage. Yeah. Good and if you're you. still wondering which star is playing Good Ford and which star is Ferrari, then maybe this isn't the movie for you. Here, try this old version of Mary's story instead. Wait, they're both Kramer? How? <laughs> that car v supercar, Le Mans of Justice. Pause. Uh, again, not a best picture for me, but a fine film. One of I, the better sports movies, if you want to call it that, I've seen in a while. It's like Rocky if Rocky were a car. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh, that and Rush. Yeah, are my yeah. two favorite race racing movies. movies by default. Yeah, <laughs> almost. <laughs> I mean, like Days of actually, Thunder. But well, like uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't seen it. But, but I mean, like actually about auto racing. Right. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's good. Yeah, I um, I was talking to Lon about it, and uh, uh, he brought up the term that I hadn't heard before, uh, competence porn, where it's oh. great to look at people who are just really good at what they do. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a lot of movies that fit that bill, not necessarily sports movies. Like, I feel like Spotlight, for me, was competence porn. It's like, oh, look at all them working together. Yeah. <laughs> That's the appeal of the movie, is just to watch that. Well, it's weird, though, because we, we talked about this, and any other, except for, they cast Matt Damon and Christian Bale, and you're told that they're the heroes of the story. Mm -hmm. In any other movie, they'd be the bad guys, because mm. like like Ford is like a like a monster. He's oh, like throwing yeah. around racial oh. slurs. And, I mean, it's just like he's you you so you should root against these guys. They're the guys with the blank check, the new the con corporate conglomerate, and Ferrari. Meanwhile, is like hey, it's a family business. Yes, <laughs> like, one man per engine. It's we about take an American giant care. going up <laughs> against an Italian uh, family business yeah. and crushing them on their own turf. Like Suck in, it. any other movie, we would be the bad guys, but because it was made in America, where the Good guys. Yeah. Capitalism! Yay! We did it! <laughs> Undefeated? Uh, Alright, let's Undefeated. keep going. <laughs> Justice. From the director who won an Oscar for filming a bag comes a perilous journey across a World War One themed Call of Duty map where each checkpoint is one of the UK's hottest hunks, oh. all in a desperate race to stop the pointless loss of 1,600 men, or at least delay their deaths by about a week. Tops, it's one for that's you. all blended into one never-ending shot, capturing the horrors of war, the chaos of battle, and the desperation of never knowing when it's okay to go to the bathroom during the movie, mm. and is so meticulously crafted that much like this sentence, you may not notice that it's been one long run-on until this part of the way into it, sentence. but by then, it will be too late to go back to the beginning and analyze where the places are that it was stitched together. So you'll just sit there, conscious of the fact that it's still going, until you get so used to the fact that there still hasn't been a cut point that you forget you were even looking for one, until the very end when it's over, <laughs> and you realize that, while the patches may have been a bit obvious in some places, it's still impressive to do something that can go on for this long without losing its entertainment value. Uncut gem. Yeah, pause. Pause. Nicely done. Yeah. Nicely done, John. Nicely um, done, Dan. I'm a long-winded person by nature, so it's great <laughs> to give myself permission to just write a super long sentence. Yeah. It was amazing, and also, we're sorry, guys. We just didn't have time to see the movie before we did our Oscar pick. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I've yeah, been yeah. vindicated. No, yeah. we have to acknowledge it. I'm it's sorry. It's fantastic. It's definitely best director. Beautiful. By a, not by a mile, but by a long shot. But Cinematography, by a, come yeah. on. It's, it's an incredible achievement. I don't think it's my favorite movie of the year. I think that no. it's a little bit of a war. Uh, you know, it does that thing where, like, it... it the guy, all the officers are like really good at heart, and you just need just need someone to just appeal to their humanity, and they'll do they'll all do the right thing. And I don't feel like that's true to World War One in particular, where like none of them cared about these guys. 
these guys, it didn't, it didn't feel which true to the spirit sucks. of that war, which is like, no, no, okay, great, yeah. Let's throw uh, them at the cannon. Throw them into the cannon. That was yeah. better than Cumberbatch. It, it was like that. Yeah, but it took one, like, it took one hat in hand, like, sir, for God and country. <laughs> and okay, like, oh, but also. Single tear runs down his stiff upper lip. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I don't know, man. I'm me. It was, like, more than a lot of tears. Well, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, no, we hadn't seen it before we did the thing. We do have to acknowledge and do our Mia Copas. We knew we were gonna, Dan. Right. Um, I tried. I tried. You yeah. tried to try. Nobody listened but to But I, I do feel like we had to acknowledge it's it. It's a great movie. I won't be mad when it wins Best Picture. Mm. I'm not mm-hmm. going to be mad. Um, no. But it was my favorite movie of the year, so. There you go. I definitely won't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, yeah. Not much more to say about 1917. Uh, sad Tonman. Well, we. Uh, I'm, do we care about spoilers if you're watching this at this point? No, and I do. People are like, you spoil things. We're talking about the Best Picture. Yeah, man. You should. They're talking about the movies. The Oscars are next week. Like, what are you? They're on Sunday. Like, what are you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, it's happening. Well, there, there are two cast members happening. from Game of Thrones in the movie in yeah. key roles. Yeah. One of them is Tommen. Tommen. And the other one is, uh, uh, is um, Mr. Rob Stark. Rob Stark. Yeah. But also, it's Thursday. The Oscars are Sunday. Why are you yelling at us about spoilers? Mm-hmm. Don't watch it until you've. Uh, when well, when don't people fine. yell about spoilers? It's fine. Well, it's, they uh, always yell. Water off a duck back. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Jim. <laughs> He's fought the Gotham Police, Batman, and the Suicide Squad. But on Oscar night, mm-hmm. the Joker will face off against his most powerful nemesis of all, Martin Scorsese, in a knockdown now, grudge pause. match to determine. I'm really bummed that there isn't a uh, host this year because you know they would do a really, <laughs> really dumb Joker entrance <laughs> that we would be deprived of. Oh. Someone, I'm going to call it now. Someone is going to do it. No, yeah. A presenter it. like Will Ferrell is going to come out. Yeah, somebody. Uh, Billy Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Martin. So what we're saying is someone's going to pretend to shoot someone else. Yeah, someone's so. going to do some hilarious Joker stuff. Oh, yeah. So uh, there will be yeah. someone dancing on the stairs. Yeah. In some sort of capacity. I was going to say I miss uh, uh, Billy Crystal's uh, montages from the beginning, but then I realized that's just like YouTube rewind before YouTube true. existed. <laughs> I feel old and dumb. Yeah, but it was. It was, <laughs> like, it was like all the best pictures. It's like, I'm flying, Jack. Hey, you flying? Oh, look out. It's an iceberg. You know, <laughs> like, what would all the best pictures be like if Billy Crystal was yeah. there? Whoa. I'm, oh, I'm very much looking. F- oh, God. I just said something terrible. I'm very. Nope. I'm very much. Nope. I'm not going to I'm very much looking forward to Tina Fey being fake shot. Nope. Nope. Not, no. Just, there's just no really way back. to say it. Just really no. you'll, uh, you'll release it as a written statement. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I can't wait for me to release my iOS press release about how sorry I am. Your the, notepad app screenshot? I, I, about how I wanted Amy Poehler to do a thing. Uh, uh, I see where I see. There we go. We'll, we'll, no. we'll work that premise out later. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not Joker stuff. Joker stuff. <laughs> One of the rare cases where we've had to double trailer or something. Yeah, we've yeah, already right done away. it. It's hard to find to more again. to yeah. say about Joker. Yeah, it's um, happened a few times, but yeah, yeah. Shook something out of our pants pockets. Yeah. All right, keep going. And once and for all, if comic book movies are real cinema, or they're, in his words, theme parks. No! Uh, I hope not, because I do not want to take my kids to Joker World. Disorder of the Phoenix. Love it. From Greta Gerwig's boyfriend comes a story about Greta Gerwig's boyfriend's ex-wife in this thinly veiled retelling of his own divorce. Only this time, everyone has to call him a genius. It's a genius, Greta. You're a genius? His genius. His genius. He became a genius. He's a genius. (laughs) So if you like custody battles, mom hair, and amateur drywall removal, you'll love White Spouse Down. Pause. <laughs> Pause. That's amazing. That's a fun title. Uh, I, mm. Wow, you're really trying to wow. get Let's... fired, canceled? What, what do you want, Danielle? What's I'm trying to get here? canceled is what I'm doing. <laughs> no, it, it's, I, I just, I get why people have, like, objections, but uh, please, it's a good movie. Please watch the movie oh, yeah. before you have objections. And then if you have them, good, but please don't base your objections on the clip that is clipped for the two minutes and what 12 or two minutes and 22 seconds or whatever that like 
I mean, it's it, Twitter probably more do? people saw this than most of the other best pictures, just because. Uh, mo- uh, sadly, yeah, by most of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah but or at it, least thirty minutes of it. It's just no. It, it, they saw two minutes of it. A lot of people saw it, and that's what they were like. Oh, well, it's just like watching my college theater. I went to a college theater program. We, <laughs> we weren't that good. Well, there you go. There you go. I thought there was a lot of uh, acting. <laughs> on screen. Acting! Acting! There uh, was, yes. But it was, it was of, aggressive acting. Of the good sort. And uh, yeah, I just admire Noah Baumbach for being like, I'm going to tell my story, but uh, but man, did I have a, did I have a big penis. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like just adding one <laughs> insane detail that's like, like, it's not me. It's just a guy who looks like me, has the same haircut as me, same profession as me. But he's taller and his dick thing, big. But he's got a big old schlong, and everyone's going to talk about it. Like, it was just a crazy, and I'm referring to the genius grant that he he's got. A genius. It was, it was crazy to just change one detail of your your life uh, yeah. and to make it like, but he's awesome. Yeah. So that was the, that struck me as funny, but I like the movie. It's hard for me because it's like legal, like, like family law shit, and I'm like, put it in my face. Mm. Give me more family law shit. Um, it's very specific. Uh, niche. Niche, Shot. yes. Netflix uh, has a category for you. Yeah, it's please. <laughs> no, they don't. I want it. Make a family law shit category. Um, but yeah, no, like you can not like it and, and feel however you feel about it, but please see it first before you. Well, there you go. Yeah, that should agree. be true of all the uh, most movies. It will never mm-hmm. happen, yeah. but yeah. we can hope. Da-dum. Da-dum. All right, Da-dum. let's keep going. First, he killed Hitler. Next, he avenged slavery. Now, watch as Quentin Tarantino changes history to save old Hollywood. Yay! With Leonardo DiCaprio as a washed-up star of dad shows and Brad Pitt as the most charming alleged wife murderer since OJ, these old chums will foil the Manson family killings any minute now. Any minute. Oh, Oh, there he is. Oh, no, not yet. Wait, now we're watching TV? What's going on here? <laughs> Summer of 69. <laughs> it's been adapted four Pause. times. I don't know. What, what's there to say that we well, haven't? That's we did all, we used up all our Tarantinoisms. I, yeah, yeah I was that was a really hard one to write because it's like we already did. What am I going to do? Make fun of I did the feet? Like, yeah, what am I right. going to It's all done. For everyone that wanted to know what our trailer of Just What's Upon a Time in Hollywood would have been, like, that's the that's the A lot of driving around. Cliff notes. No. And like, no pun intended. Yeah. You know, people... <laughs> It's like learn the rules so you can break them. Like there is not so many of these scenes in the movie don't really do the traditional things you ask a scene to do of furthering the plot or revealing a new dimension to the character. There's some new crisis, but they're just so enjoyable. Like I wouldn't remove a single frame of that movie. Well, it's I might make Sharon Tate not have dirty feet. That seems mean. (laughs) That's one for him. You know, he got that (laughs) as is his right. It was the 60s. Yeah, I guess uh... she was wearing boots. I'm sorry. She was wearing boots. Well, just the I really I like and I, I I. and obviously, like I don't know, man. Ever like it's an, obviously it's a fairy tale for dude. It's a dad fairy tale. <laughs> yeah. If you go into the movie going, this is a fairy tale for dads. It's a good like don't. It, right, and, and it's a do, fairy tale for me. I'm not a dad. It's a it's I a fairy it. tale for uh, for cinephiles of a certain age. Let's put it that yes. way. And he's like, uh, but the of thing my that, age too of a certain taste. No, we are a certain age. We yeah. are millennials. We're a certain age. People who put uh, uh, like ascribe everything characters do or say to the personal opinions of the off of the director. Mm-hmm. Kind of throw me. It always is like what? Because if you know anything about Tarantino, like his main characters in this movie, they're like spaghetti western. Screw that shit. <laughs> like that's uh, Europeans. Like there's nobody on earth who could be a bigger fan of those types of movies than Quentin Tarantino. He yeah. put Sergio Leone in. Um, uh, in uh, there are Hateful plenty Eight and stuff of like reasons yeah. to be like, oh Tarantino, why you do this? But some of them in this movie, it's like, yeah, man. Of course the white dude beats up Bruce Lee. Like, that's it's a white dude fairy tale. Like, that's... <laughs> of course he does. Yeah, the like, Bruce Lee... that's that, what the movie is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why... Like, it's there's... also... It's a movie. He didn't actually beat up Bruce Lee. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. He, Bruce Lee never lost a fight to... Uh, uh, but also, Cliff, if you want to... <laughs> if you want to... Re- I mean, if you want to respect Bruce Lee's daughter, watch WMAC Masters on wherever you can find it, and then... Huh. 
send me a thing immediately, like a DM. Well, right. I enjoyed it. I think I, I like the movie a lot. I think it, I, I, it's it's a series of really what, when I cracked it watching it the first time, it's a series of setups and payoffs. Yes. In succession, mm. instead of one overarching thing, I, it, it's sort of these little sequences that gradually build toward the end, and uh, I quite enjoy it. Yeah. Well, there it's you have very, it. And it's very pretty. But I am a man of a certain taste. <laughs> I am a woman of a certain taste. I get it. <laughs> Let's keep going. Or a certain age or whatever. Oh, I'm so old. It's been adapted four times for theaters. <laughs> and even <laughs> <laughs> use your most prestigious voice. So this is what you oh, I love it. <laughs> we got to watch this next. Yeah. <laughs> now, see a version that returns to Little Women's Roots, a book you were assigned in high school that you flipped around to the important bits to cram for an essay in this classic tale of four little women and the even littler boy who's working his way through them one at a time. Date outside the family. With a powerful message for girls. You don't have to choose between marriage, family, and career as long as a distant relative dies and leaves you a massive fortune. Oh, and marry a hot doctor anyway. Couldn't hurt. The whitest kids you know. <laughs> Pause. I love that. Um, so yeah, I'm such a. I love this movie. Uh, I'm such a Sersha. Oh, Sersha head. What do we? Mm. What do we call ourselves? Sershies. Sersh I don't know because I'm a Sersha head. Yeah. Sersh. Sershin. Sershin. Sershin for. I don't know. I you, don't know. You tell us what we're called. But she was fantastic in this movie. I loved her in Brooklyn. Um, I've seen Little Women in one form or another a million times, and I was like, oh, God, not again. But I thought that they had enough, uh, uh, they put enough zhuzh on it and made it new. And uh, Oh, and the, the directing was great. It's, uh, look, I know it's Little Women, but like, um, <laughs> yeah, God, it was so good. It was really, really good. This is my first um, Little Women. Oh, really? Really? Welcome to the club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Are you a, a Joe or a Meg? See, when you what say, you I, I say a Meg at this point, I think of a giant shark yeah. that eats yeah. people. Oh, I'm a Meg. You know, Meg of the dog. Kick me in the, what is it? I, Kick me in the, what, the, <laughs> right in the gobba. In the gobba, yeah. I was literally trying to find, I couldn't find, I'm sorry, the yearbook picture of me is Joe. And I couldn't oh, find nice. it. Oh, nice. I tried. Oh, I'm sorry. That would have been great. Yeah, um, I think, really, what do we think about uh, Chalamet uh, 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 Rise as, as the prettiest boy in school? I mean, he's a wonderful actor. He yeah. really is a phenomenal actor. I, and I said this when, when Ross and I reviewed the movie. I'm a little bit tired of seeing him as, like, the waifish sad boy. <laughs> <laughs> do you oh, want him to hit someone right in oh, the face? Well, no, just because I've seen him now in several roles as the sort of waifish sad mm -hmm. boy. And, mm -hmm. uh, and he's wonderful. He's wonderful yeah. at playing that. But I also... Um, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to Dune, is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yes. Um, Put Dune in my veins. Yes. Oh. Um, yeah, we could use fewer uh, characters of his that, like, lean pensively against a windowsill. Yeah. Also, I could just <laughs> use fewer characters <laughs> like that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but back then, like, that was hot. Yeah, that was the good hotness. Yeah. And now there's, like, a new Emma, and I'm like, didn't we already cover that with Clueless? But I will watch it, because yeah. I could also, be wrong. Emma. Gwyneth Paltrow. It's so good. It came out around the same time. Emma's really good. Cool. It's fine. I bet it's yeah. amazing. I bet mm. it's really good. Yeah. Well, I, I think so. He should follow the um, the the Leo playbook, right? Because mm. he's to me, this is like Leo. He doesn't have his Titanic yet. I doubt that'll be Dune. But like he's doing, <laughs> he's he's got his Romeo and Juliet and his mm -hmm. basketball diaries now. Mm -hmm. So he's got to do the big franchise. What's movie. his Titanic? Mm. Yeah, they don't, but they don't make Titanics anymore. Right, I mean, they do, but mm. yeah. yeah. Is it a superhero role? Like, what is it that makes him? Please no. No. I mean, if if he <laughs> a could, musical, if he could go, if he could go back in time, he could probably be the Flash, and that would have been his Titanic potentially. But yeah. uh, I don't know. Good question. But I think that's the career blueprint for. Uh, um, fancy boys, yeah, uh, and aspiring fancy boys, mm. and then he goes to work with Clint Eastwood. Berries and, and cream, something. yeah. What is it, like? <laughs> <laughs> he should remake the berries and cream. Uh, He's Skittles a berries and cream. Boy. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think Chalamet should do next? <laughs> Let's keep going. Plucky young racist Jojo Rabbit loves two things: the promise of a thousand-year Reich and to dance. But he's not alone. Meet his pal, Sam Rockwell and Rebel Wilson, who put the Z-A-N-Y in N-A-Z-I. Hi, hey there, guys. Featuring double Oscar nominee Scarlett Johansson. Wow, how did she do that? It's gotta be the shoes. Oh, Starring oh. Adolf Hitler, as you've never <laughs> seen him before. Hilarious. A lot of people pointing if out the producers, but that wasn't actually Only one Hitler. movie is no. the <laughs> final solution. Boy Meets World War II. Nice. Pause. 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 Technically, this wasn't actually Hitler either. 
Sure. It was a child's sure. idealized version of yeah. Hitler. Yeah. Also, Sam Rockwell, you don't have to be racist anymore. <laughs> stop doing shows where, stop doing things where you're racist. But he you makes them it. so lovable. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to do racist. Don't you just stuff. immediately forgive him, though? Because it's Sam Rockwell. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey. No. No, that's Viggo Mortensen. No. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, 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 a fried chicken before. Let me show you how to go. I fold up a pizza and he's right here in front of you. Have oh. you had fried chicken? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, you don't have to do this anymore. I'm a so forgive you, so I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Green book. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, uh, anything yeah. else on Jojo Rabbit? I'm sorry we spoiled it for people. That's kind of, I guess. But we did. Again, the, 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 I, the, I, the, the people that were angry about us putting spoilers to Jojo Rabbit in that movie were the ones who had already seen the movie. Because if you happened. hadn't seen the movie, then you don't know what yeah. that is. Yeah. So yeah. The, the people are yelling at us for spoilers about a movie that they've already seen on behalf of people who haven't seen the movie who haven't been spoiled. Probably wouldn't have noticed it wouldn't unless have you noticed yelled it until they said there's a spoiler yeah. and that Twitter <laughs> <laughs> you you what is it you 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 played yourself you played yourself you played congratulations. yourself congratulations you played congratulations. yourself, you played, yourself. <laughs> you played yourself there you go Dan All right. <laughs> I did a reference <laughs> I apologize I've ruined Dan um uh, all right let's keep going Get ready for a Korean film about class, and you just stop listening. <laughs> Look, you only have to watch one foreign film a year, okay? So put on your glasses and strap in as a struggling family cons their way above the poverty line while working for the worst kinds of rich people. Rich people. House Hunters International. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Uh, the thing that we didn't find a way to work in that I thought was a good observation is why is that toilet up so high? It's what? so high. Is it? No, looking back at it, it's like, oh, is it so that they can crack that window? Was that it? Oh, I, I don't. Why would you have such an elevated toilet? Here's is that a Korean thing? thing? Here's, well, here's what I think. They live underground. Yes. Yeah. So I think maybe the plumbing oh, only comes up to a certain that. level oh, on the building. And it's sort go. of a depressed floor. That makes so sense. the toilet is high because that's where the, the, uh, the pipes go. Also, oh, oh, man. Now you know. Because they're below the ground. Wow. You well, know. Yeah, thank you for cracking that case. Oh, I, mean, I mean, that's my guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's a half basement. So half basements have high toilets. Also, that dude. Loves gross stuff. Don't you have? Yeah. Really By the way, they, they built that like house. Eat they built both of those. Houses. Oh wait, oh, really? no. And there, there's great. There's, there's. Uh, uh, sorry. There, there's really good uh, green screens behind the big house. The, the, mm. the. Um. The, oh gosh. Uh, I wish that I knew the name of the Twitter account that talked about it. Showed like the before and after of like the way that they. There's CGI in it. Yeah, CGI yeah. did. Well, well I, I think it should. It won't. But I think it should win best production design. Okay. The Oscars, it because it, it won't because it's seamless and people just take when it's a normal location people just take it for granted and they're yeah. like oh that was that that was just there, um, but I think it should win best production. Design. It's so gorgeous. Well, there you I go. I agree. Yeah, and check out. Um, we'll do more cross promotion. I think it's lessons from the screenplay. Did a video about montages and how mm. this movie uses Ooh. them. The montage of like the uh, mm. basically the poisoning of the housekeeper mm. and with the like peaches and how they're it's going back and forth oh, between them yeah. hatching the plan and executing it and mwah, great film yes um sweet good okay. job director that's Ball. really good watch nerd writer, nerd writer nerd sorry nerd writer. yeah oh nerd writer does uh, another stuff. great job uh, yeah. so yeah watch that movie uh well there you go let's keep going prepare for a master class from actors robert de niro joe pesci al pacino and their creepy de-aged avatars for an epic saga I never exploring got over the it. relationship <laughs> between the Teamsters Union and organized crime that you're still working your way through because you hear good things about The Witcher and they just dropped a new season of Terrace House mm. and what's the circle? That looks like fun. <laughs> Look, I'm sure the second half of the movie is just as good as the first half. Let's just assume it all ends well for everyone. <laughs> Maybe they even make it back to Ireland. That'd be nice, right? Add to my watch list. <laughs> 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 All right, pause. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of my favorite things. What, what more is there to say? It's a fun, fun take on a uh, on a movie that like we could try to pick that movie apart, but what are you gonna mm -hmm. what are you it's gonna even good say? Movie. Yeah, it's uh, just yeah. so solid. That's my thing with Parasite, where it's like, how do I take it apart? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's what's good about this is you know, we always say how hard it is to do good movies. Like it's hard to do a four minute on a trailer, but I think we've got thirty seconds of good material on just anything. about anything. <laughs> yeah. Any, we got one good joke about anything. We have I one like good think. joke about most. If we put movies. all of our minds together, between <laughs> if the there five, are of five of us, of us. <laughs> <laughs> can think of one half funny thing <laughs> per we film. We can go up to thirty to forty five seconds of material for any. That's movie. the honest trailer promise. <laughs> Guys, we did it. <laughs> and sometimes we'll just put that over four and a half minutes. 
and that's your honest answer. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Yeah, that is my metric. Sadly, when I go back and watch early ones, I'm like, if I laugh once, that's then we're then, good. then we're in good shape. And I'm like, yeah. usually like, <laughs> okay, we did good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right, keep going. Move on. Hey. Starring the biggest trends and best pictures this year. Inappropriate laughter. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Class divides, hidden rooms, cowboys and Indians. What are you burning? What are you burning? Precocious kid scenes. He's a genius, you know. I mean, a once in every 50 or 100 years kind of genius. What are you, 12? I'm eight. You're a soldier now? At your surface. But you're so cute. only 11. I know. Winter release <laughs> dates. Getting to a meeting on time. Really? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> and it was traffic. The second are due to attack the line shortly after dawn tomorrow. You think you can get there in time? Charlie finally arrived two hours late to pick up Henry at Nicole's mother's house. I was waiting for you. I was there at 2 o'clock, you're supposed to show. Sharing <laughs> actors. And white people dancing. So if we were going to make an Oscar contender, it'd be about a dancing white person trying to get to a meeting on time. <laughs> starring Robert De Niro, Scarlett Johansson, and a precocious also, child. Also, not starring by the Adam? following completely yes. snubbed yeah. films. All right, pause. Yeah. I would like to say, read this text very closely. Yeah. The following com completely snubbed films. All right, continue. Continue. <laughs> yes. The snubbed films that deserved at least some kind of recognition alongside these nine. Thank you. Like a little biscuit. <laughs> like a little biscuit. I used to listen to this back in the day. This is hot. Oh, my God. That is nice. That director. Is nice. We should have put director Fred Durst in. Oscars 2020. If Joker's up for 11 awards, they'll have to show at least 11 clips of it. Oh, no. This is a worldwide broadcast. What if people realize they live in a society? Oh, no. <laughs> Joker stuff might Joker happen. Joker stuff. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, I guess if we have any deleted anything, let's let's play it now. Then we'll review. Uh, we'll respond to viewer comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> World War One shot. By the way, this is a, a it's wonderful. Took shots to me. <laughs> Dumb curve. Red letter. <laughs> that was not. That we, that's not. That's just a <laughs> stupid pun. <laughs> Plus cry. I like it. Robert Holby, by the way, the as always, yeah. crushing it. Oh, we... West Coast Avenger, okay, okay. Project mm. X, L.A. Law, mm. Couples Retreat, mm. Marriage Story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ryan likes that one. Man, the Harpoon. <laughs> Sorry. The Lady Killers, <laughs> Manson Family Values. Uh. My favorite, Almost Murder. Manson Family Cookout. Okay. I yeah, love the Severkills. Enter the Dalton. Yeah. Uh, Pulp semi fiction. We made him make all these again. I, well, no, we're the I worst. Didn't make them. Lady Bird. <laughs> Origin. <laughs> Regular sized women. <laughs> Marriage stories. Uh. Nazi party down. <laughs> Flash dance. Uh, Mid 40s. Uh, yeah. Super bad. No, really. Super bad. Like the worst. Yeah. The Indian in the cupboard. <laughs> Sense oh, of a high end. Capitalism. <laughs> Eat the rich. People's food. <laughs> the people under the stairs. That's pretty good. I think that was Flashing. our number two. Lights. <laughs> Millions of peaches. Peaches for <laughs> <laughs> Long shoot. Yeah, Mostly true. terrible fellas <laughs> married to the mob. <laughs> the D-Age of Innocence. That's not pretty good. Too thing. old to look young. Mm -hmm. Labor pains. Uh. Recommended for you. <laughs> Popular on Netflix. Yeah. There it is. There we go. Yep. We have one more? No. Nope, that's, that's it. Nope. 
Yeah, well, there you go. We're um, not good at paring things down. No, no, not the best. Uh, we can pare it down. Do it. We just don't we can just send them all to He's Robert. He's already made the font. What's the <laughs> yeah, harm in typing out a few you more? Know how much render time goes? You know how much render time goes into each one of those JoJo Rabbit ones? Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, Robert. Sorry, Rob. We, like uh, a lot. Uh, we had a lot of comments, but only one uh, was repeated and insufferable, which was this. <laughs> you sn- I'm going to do my worst oh, voice. This God. is what you sound like, commenting. <laughs> oh, no. Why didn't you put the lighthouse in the snub movie thing? You snub the snubber. We snub a double snub lighthouse. That went to that. Cartman? What is that? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what you sound like. And we said, completely snub. It got an Oscar nomination for best cinematography. Slow your roll. Can't triple stamp a double stamp. <laughs> it's nominated for an Oscar, so it's not completely snubbed. And that's my response to people who said, <laughs> We put it in our, in our Oscars video. We put it up for a bunch of stuff. Uh, so don't, just didn't nominate don't it for come at us like, uh, uh, like, yeah, for we, Will Defoe, Will Defoe, yeah. we nominated. Yeah, like we don't respect a good lighthouse. How dare you? We respect a lighthouse yeah, in we, this house. Yeah, we respect a fart and lighthouse keeper. <laughs> in this house, we respect a fart and lighthouse. Yeah. But respect for my lighthouse keeper. <laughs> Nothing but respect. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, y'all. Them's the Oscar movies this Them's year. Them's the Oscars. I can't wait to do it again. Um, this is, like you said, super fun. We couldn't let it pass us by. No, we had uh, to do it. Without yeah, doing yeah. it. Um, uh, next week is a film that uh, we could let pass by, but I'm sure it'd come back again soon. No. Oh, oh, yeah. No. It'll be back. Yeah. It'll be back. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you then, and we'll uh, maybe see you before then this weekend. Sunday night, live movie fights after the Oscars. Woo-hoo. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.